Society tells me that I'm disabled. Don't you hate it when people tell you that you can't do something, that you won't do something, that it's impossible or you're not good enough? I'm pretty used to that. I've dealt with society calling me disabled from day one because I didn't meet the mold of what it meant to be able. I was born with fibular hemimelia, a long word for evolutionary disaster. At two I had both of my feet chopped off and they gave me some cool wooden ones. Okay, not so cool back then at a time when I came last in every race because I had artificial legs. You know what I love about coming to training now, Shug? What's that? So when I first started running, I would go to the track, and before I'd go to the track, uh, I would curl up in a ball right before going because I was so anxious about people seeing my legs. Like, do you know how liberating it is not to be confined by other people? Like, the, the perceived judgment of other people? Like, it is, it is truly unreal. And, it, and I used to want to throw up before going because I was so anxious about people seeing me taking off my everyday walking legs and putting on my blades. Now, I get to come to training and I feel free and it's the best feeling ever. People have always underestimated technological progress. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. And now I have the opportunity to change the world in a really small way. To become the fastest person on the planet would have once required you to win the genetic lottery, but not in the modern world. In the modern world, with exponential technology, we all have the power to change the world in a small way. After winning gold in Rio, I asked myself how could I make a positive impact in the world? While training for the Paralympics, I intend to use new technologies to build a unique pair of artificial legs in order to push the boundaries of human performance by running 9.4 seconds over 100 meters. Attempting to run 9.4 seconds is for those of us who have been told that we can't, that we won't, that our dreams are unrealistic and impossible. <laughs>